<laughs> okay, Mark, you've got something yum on the menu this morning. Yeah, that's right. I've got Tom Yum, so we're cooking Thai today. We've got a beautiful uh, crunchy Thai salad with a really simple dressing, and we've got some Tom Yum skewers. So normally you'd see Tom Yum in a soup, but now we're going to do skewers today. We've got this beautiful rangatiki chicken thigh, and I've got a little bit of prawn on there as well. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, fresh and summery. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we've got Tom Yum chicken skewers to make this morning. That's right, that's right. Tom Yum originated from Thailand? Yep. And it's usually a soup most of the time. Yep, so it is a Thai soup, and uh, and pretty much you have it all, all the time as a mm. soup. But it's just from a paste. You can make the paste yourself, or you right. can just buy a really good paste now in the uh, sort of Asian stores. So instead of making a soup, we're going to use that as a marinade. Okay, so, nice. And we're going to be different. using, yeah, nice. We're going to be using beautiful free range rangatake chicken, which is delicious. And there's some beautiful looking ingredients here, Mark. So let's get cooking. Right, so just a few ingredients we're going to put in here. So we've got the tom yum paste, a little yes. bit of lime juice, mm -hmm. some fish sauce. So all sort of characteristic um, flavours of uh, Thai cooking. Yeah, definitely, I can smell that straight away. A little bit of soy sauce as well for some seasoning. Yep. A bit of honey. Pop that Lovely. in there. So you can see already, I mean, you just, you know, you're just sort of balancing out this paste, but, you know, you've got amazing flavour in here and amazing smells and aromas coming off here already. Mm, I bet you. Streamland honey. Mm, yum. That's <laughs> so good. Right, so okay. Just a, just a real basic sort of marinade. Yep. Right, we've got our chicken thighs. So taking the skin off there and uh, just trim any sort of, any pots that you don't want on there, but they're all pretty much pretty good. And then just want to put them in nice chunks like this. Okay, cool. Okay, obviously no bone in there as well. Yep. And we'll get them in. And then, you know, this recipe, it's always better the longer you leave it to marinate. Mm -hmm. So probably like three, four hours, you know, if you've got the time. So that's ideal. Yeah, yep. it will, uh, you know, you will get that flavour in there. I mean, it's a really simple dish, you know, you've just got some flavoured sort of grilled chicken and a salad, right? So you really want to, you know, prep this uh, dish nice and early so you can give it, um, you know, three, four hours so you do maximise that flavour. Right, well, we'll come back on Monday and see the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, hopefully we've got some. Uh, right, okay. We're just going to, through the magic of television, just pretend that we've been marinating it for three hours. Oh, how long's that been now? Have you timed it? Yeah, <laughs> about three <laughs> seconds. Okay, cool. Right, so nice. the, and then, so... Imagine this has been sort of like three, four hours, you know, so you'll you know, you get all those flavours into the chicken. And then all we're going to do now is skewer it up. So you can use wooden skewers or metal skewers. Metal yes. skewers are really good because you can just sort of pull them out of the cupboard and then just use them straight away. If you're using, using a wooden, wooden ones, skewer, then you've got to wet them first? Yeah, you want to soak them for about half an hour so they don't sort of catch on fire. It's not too bad. Or I mean, even in a hot pan, you know, they will sort of burn and stuff. But if you're doing it on a barbecue especially, yeah. you know, you don't want them to sort of set fire and then all your meat falls in the barbecue. That's right. I wonder how many people have started pulling out the barbecue, <laughs> washing the mould off from last year, getting it ready for summer. Oh, definitely. Definitely. That's, That's a great year, days. isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to skewer the chicken and I'm going to put prawns on it as well, you know, just like a nice little surf and turf. Prawns are really sort of popular in Thai cooking as well. I mean, if you don't if you don't want to put the prawns on, you don't need to, you know. You could put some vegetables on here, you could turn it into more of a dish. Right. But we're just going to do a nice sort of protein hit skewer. I love so it. Beautiful. Surf and turf. Look at that, mate. Right, so we'll build a few more of these. Yep. And then I've got a nice hot griddle pan on there. Okay. And I put a little bit of oil in there. Mm -hmm. Get it hot. And then I'm just going to control that heat. I sort of want that sort of, I want it hot but medium. Because remember, we've okay. got honey in the marinade. You go there, I'll start skewering out oh. some more because I'm hungry. Finally, finally got the hint. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to keep that medium heat because we want to caramelise it. But we don't want to get it too hot because we don't want to burn that sugar, you know. Right. We've got sugar in there. So just keep it on a nice sort of medium heat, nice sizzle. And then we'll just cook them two, three minutes, both sides, get a bit of colour. We'll just prod the chicken, but it should be cooked. And the prawns, when the chicken's cooked, the prawns will definitely be cooked. Nice. And then we'll come back, we'll make a salad. Brilliant. OK, well, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. As you can tell, this is going to be perfect for the barbecue. And as Mark said, we'll show you how to do the salad in just a minute. We need to finish off the salad. Things are smelling incredible here in the cafe kitchen, Mark. Nice, simple skewer. It's got that beautiful marinated chicken. We're using rangatike free-range chicken today. So that's underway. Easy to do. Now it's the salad, which is very important. Very important, and it's all about balance. Thai food's all about balance okay. and texture and freshness. Nice. Right, so just a really simple salad. So I've just got a carrot. Just going to do those into like really fine strips, so a bit of a julienne. Nice. And then skewers are cooking here, so yep. we've got a nice bit of caramelisation there. Flipped it over, just controlling that pan heat so we don't completely incinerate it. Okay, cool, good tip. Um, and then we don't dry the chicken out as well. You, you just want to cook it. And you just want to be a bit careful as well, because you have got the prawns on there. Okay, cool. Right. 
So dressing, so really simple dressing. You can make this, Mike. Yes. Um, lime juice, fish sauce. Yep. And uh, brown sugar. So you can put the lime juice and the fish sauce in. Yep. Give it a whisk around, and then put a little bit of sugar in. Make sure it's all dissolved. <laughs> a little bit, not all of it. Okay, cool. And then you're going to taste it, and then you're going to balance it. Okay, so you're going to cool. add more sugar. Okay, so you need to break the sugar down. I see yeah, why you've yeah. got to add it slowly. No, I mean, you can add a bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, just, I mean, you can always add. You can't take away, you know, that's what we True. always say. And what sort of consistency are we looking for? Oh, I mean, it's just a really light dressing. So basically, right. all you're looking for with the um, sugar is just to balance out the, uh, the freshness of the lime okay, and the cool. saltiness of the... Um, uh, fish sauce. Yep, no, mm, tasting nice. You know, so, yeah, so you might need some more. And then obviously you make it a dressing, it's all about personal preference, you know, if you're going to eat it. So you just want to taste it, you know, some people might like it a little bit sweeter or a bit sourer or a mm -hmm. bit sort of saltier, you know. Okay, I've got an annoying lump of sugar in there that I can't <laughs> get rid of. I'm going to whisk it harder. Yeah, true. It's getting there, it's getting there. Right, so okay, so you mentioned balance, which is good, <laughs> balance and texture. So this is yeah. traditional sort of Thailand taste, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, and freshness, you know. We've got a cup of lime here. So just take out the, the sort of centre stalk and then just chop it really finely, and that's going to give you a real freshness to the salad as well. Nice. I've I'm got some cabbage. Can I leave it there, or do you need do you need some more sugar? What do you reckon, Chef? Oh, well, if, let, me, let, me see okay, how, let, let me see how good this oh, is. Oh, here's the test. Good? Beautiful. Oh, yes! <laughs> no, it's really good. It is no, good. You, you've got all those flavours in there. There's only three ingredients in there, but you've got you've got a nice balance there, so that's really good. Nice. Well, no, that's, that's how I like it, but as Mark said earlier, it's all about your preference. That's the beauty when you're making your own dressing. That's it. So carrots in there, cabbage, red onion, the kaffir lime, and a nice bit of texture, some roasted, toasted um, hazel, uh, hazelnuts, peanuts. Nice. And then dressing, last minute, goes over. All right, you can give that a, give that a nice sort of toss together. Okay, cool. There's a spoon there. Thank you. And that is it, you know, that's, I mean, that's just a really simple salad. I mean, you could start putting mint in there, coriander in there, you know, any other vegetables, you could use res ca red cabbage, you know, whatever you've got, whatever you've got around, you know, you can just do it. And even use the, um, you know, the Thai dressing, even mix it up and put it on some like iceberg lettuce, you know, oh, strange, yum. but different and really nice and tasty. Skewers are there, they look pretty good. Just give the uh, chicken a bit of a prod. You know, you've got a nice firmness there. Well, yeah, they're not dried out, that's for sure. No, I think we're looking quite good. Yeah, exactly. And if, but if your chicken's really thick and you've got you've got quite a lot of colour on there because the pan's been really hot, you can just pop them in the oven for a couple of minutes if you want. You know, take them out of the pan if you need to cook it a little bit more. But cutting them that size should be able to cook them all on both sides in uh, in the pan, so it'll all be ready. I love the speed of it. I love the freshness of it. The simplicity with a few layers. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to taste it a little later towards the end of the show. Thank you, Mark. Now, one of the prizes in our ultimate Christmas competition is a barbecue that would have cooked these skewers absolutely perfectly. And how's it looking? We are ready. Look at this salad. Another thing I forgot to mention before, it's a great idea just to dress the salad about five minutes before you want to serve it, and it just sort of slightly wilts the cabbage and all that flavour gets in. Skew's going on top. Yeah. Beautiful. Brilliant. Mm -hmm.